what is going on everybody let's just take a look at this outstanding and beautiful scenery the weather is so beautiful and just so calming to look at without further ado let's get straight to the video where i can review this beautiful and classic casio f91w i'm down here relax and meditate very very calming and beautiful scenery So here's the watch, Casio F91. Let's try to get it in the display and the focus. It is a really, really beautiful and good looking watch. Only 35 millimeters in diameter, a really comfortable watch. So we go ahead and put it on the wrist. Whoops. Super easy to put on. And this is how it fits on my wrist. I have a 7.8 inch wrist, so this watch is sort of small on my wrist, but all in all, super comfortable and sleek. You can wear this on literally anything. You wanna go classic, you wanna go formal, you wanna go semi-casual. It will match every single outfit that you have. It's also a very iconic design. It sort of gives you that 90s vintage sort of style. This watch has that retro aspect to it and all in all it just makes it a really good contender i don't know what these two little marks are on my hand i don't know if they're bites from some sort of bug or if it's an allergy well whatever it is it's quite weird but i guess i'll move on with it <laughs> just enjoying the beautiful scenery honestly what more do you need than to just come down here relax and meditate very very calming and beautiful scenery the Casio F921 is a really classic and iconic watch, a very famous watch, mass produced, so you can find this almost anywhere. I personally got it for around 10 pounds, which I believe is 13, 14 dollars, I'm not really sure on the currency conversion, but you can find this almost anywhere. I personally got it from Amazon. It is a beautiful and very comfortable watch, only 35 millimeters in diameter and also has a very sleek profile. Many, many options, um, such as the micro light feature, and as well as an alarm and a stopwatch. But all in all, a very amazing watch. So obviously, the good size of this watch is that it's very affordable. It tells you the time. What really makes a watch that's worth $13 different than a watch that costs $100,000. Obviously, we're not gonna compare quartz to mechanical, but all in all, they both really tell the same time. In terms of water resistance, this watch is actually splash proof up to 30 meters. Well, according to Seiko, that's what they said. It is water resistant up to 30 meters, and they said it's splash proof which kind of gets confusing, but I can imagine that you cannot go diving with this watch simply because, well, it's not really meant for diving. And if you do wish to dive with your Casio, all I'm gonna say is that you're gonna have to tell that watch goodbye because it is not meant to be going down that much pressure and well, it's not really designed to be submerged in water. The watch weighs around 45 grams, and I just have a small piece of advice for you guys. Whatever you do, do not buy the fake version of this watch. Believe me, it's only a few dollars off, and I just don't understand when people would go and get a fake version of the Casio, simply because it's just, just spend the extra few dollars and get the real one. All in all, it's just, it's baffling that some people would actually make a fake version of the Casio F91. And obviously, the watch is a unisex watch, so anyone can wear it, adults, kids. It's just all around a really good daily beater. I've been wearing this watch all day long, honestly. It has just been absolutely beautiful. I actually wore this when I was in Edinburgh and it was honestly the best watch to ever come with me when I'm traveling. So obviously you see the display here, 
shows you the time, the second, the date, the day and date. So all in all, does it all. My only downside of the swatch is that the light feature has to be pressed for it to activate. It's not like the other G-Shocks uh, where you have to just press it once and it will last for around three seconds. However, it has saved me um, countless of times where I'm in the cinema and I urgently need to check the time. So all in all, a really useful feature that you could not go wrong with. And obviously it won't show. Well, you can sort of see it, but it's daytime right now, so you won't be able to see it very clearly. So why is this watch almost perfect? Why is it not the perfect watch? It's pretty simple. Um, it just doesn't have all the features that I want. Now I'm being very, very nitpicky. Obviously I want to put a little bit of, uh, you know, attention to the title, but all in all, I just wish the watch had more water resistance. I wish it was, I had, I, I wish I had the light feature where it would last a little bit longer than just having to press it once and all in all, these are the only features that I wish the watch had and it would be the absolute perfect watch. So then again, 100 meters water resistance and a longer lasting LED light function would make this the perfect watch. But other than that, I would say this is the almost perfect watch in my collection. Would I recommend this watch? Absolutely, yes. It's cheap, it's simple, it's affordable, it tells the time. Other than that, I always try to find the good and bad in every watch, just for the sake of content purposes. But all in all, a really, really good watch. Very thin, very sleek, you cannot go wrong with it. $13, I'm not gonna talk anymore as this watch does all the talking. Stainless steel case back don't forget to like subscribe and click the notifications bell icon to stay tuned and updated for any video i'll be releasing and that is all for today guys i'm the local watch guy and i'll see you guys soon